Welcome to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel, and when you do, hit the notification bell so that you will never miss another video release. The Washington Commanders owe a lot to Taylor Heineke. While Heineke may have a lower ceiling compared to Carson Wentz, Heineke has put his body on the line to put the Washington Commanders in contention for the playoffs. In Carson Wentz's absence, Heineke has been able to win five out of eight games that he has played for the Commanders, with one game ending in a tie, two of the games being very close losses, and the game against the 49ers being a very tough game all around. Still, Heineke has stepped in and done his job, and teammates rallied around Taylor, and in turn, Taylor gave a boost to the Commanders when they needed it the most. However, as stated earlier, Taylor Heineke does have a lower ceiling when compared to Carson Wentz. This is displayed when we see Taylor's vertical game. Heineke just doesn't have the arm strength that Wentz has, and oftentimes, this can be the difference between an interception, an incompletion, or a touchdown. And that difference can be a slim margin of error. If you break down the vertical passing game of Taylor Heineke, you'll notice that his passes are often underthrown. His receivers have to make outstanding adjustments and spectacular catches to complete the pass, which are great for the highlight reels, but not so great on the body. To counter this, often we see Taylor needing to make adjustments with his passes. He will try to get his passes out earlier and place them in spots only his receivers can get to. Often this will be more of out patterns as opposed to vertical passes. When Taylor does have to go deep, his passes tend to hang in the air, which means his passes turn into 50-50 balls, and you are either going to see a great catch by Terry McLaurin or Jahan Dotson, or you're going to see an interception by the defensive back. In many cases, we've seen big plays because of Locke and the wide receiver making a break back to the ball, such as Terry McLaurin working himself loose at the last second to come back to a badly underthrown pass, or a pass thrown in triple coverage to Curtis Samuel, and it just so happens that a defender gets caught up with the official allowing Samuel a second to catch the pass. But that's not to say that Heineke has been all luck and no talent. When Heineke was first inserted into the lineup, he was the best person for the job because Carson Wentz just seemed like a statue behind the commander's poor offensive line. Heineke had what it took to extend plays with his legs and make the completions on the run. That is where Taylor excels in his game. But as the offensive line started to gel and the running game started getting legs underneath itself, we also started seeing Taylor not taking as many chances downfield, whether if that was by design or if he just didn't feel comfortable enough. In the end, Taylor was pretty banged up. By the end of the 49ers game, Heineke had reached as far as he could take the Washington Commanders, and now it's time for Carson Wentz to step back in and take over the controls. So the question now is, what do we do with Taylor Heineke? Does he stick around with the Commanders next season as a backup, or does Taylor try to land somewhere else that will be in need of a quarterback? This is all assuming that Carson Wentz plays well in the last couple of games this season and punches the Commanders card into the postseason. Either way you look at it, you have to appreciate what Taylor Heineke has brought to the Washington Commanders for the past couple of seasons, and what he can still bring to this team in whatever role he is willing to fulfill. Taylor Heineke came in when the Commanders needed him the most, and won Washington games that got them out of a bad start to the season. And I believe he has carried this team as far as he can. So now, it's time to hand the reins back over to Carson Wentz, and see if Wentz can ignite this offense to push the Commanders over the finish line and into the postseason. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and share the video with other Washington Commanders fans. Thank you for joining us. Hail to the Washington Commanders, let's go Maniacs!